It's a 2017 Thor Hurricane 34P. I'm gonna go through some of the outside storage. It's the uh, 20 foot awning. And there's uh, quite a bit of storage. This here's a pass through on the top. Each uh, basement compartment has a uh, light. It's a ladder for the bunk bed. Tow bar. And this is the outdoor TV. Uh, I like to keep it inside if uh, it's gonna be stored for any length of time. So that's in the, in the back bedroom right now. And this comes out in uh, swivels. Lab forge and then the outdoor kitchen. And then there's uh, two more compartments here, and then up in the front is the batteries, uh, the house batteries. There's two house batteries. I just put those in uh, a couple of months ago. So those are brand new, uh, deep cycle. And then let's walk through the front. And then we'll go to the uh, driver compartment. These seats are uh, aftermarket seats. Uh, the originals are not very good. These are super comfortable. Uh, 15,500 miles on here. It does have a backup camera, uh, Bluetooth radio, and both the uh, chair swivel. And here's the controls over the over the door. And uh, right there is the over cab uh, queen size bunk. All right, the uh, dinette with a 40 inch TV. There's the Thor bag. It's got all the owner manuals for all the different appliances. Uh, do have some storage uh, under or here. Uh, it's got a love seat with uh, overhead storage. And there's the switch that uh, controls the audio along with a Blu-ray uh, DVD player. The thermostat and there's the uh, uh, inverter. So the in inverter will run the TV and the refrigerator off of the battery. Right, more storage here in the kitchen. This is a, a large kitchen uh, compared to some of the, the models here. That's why we ultimately went with this one. A large Whirlpool uh, microwave, a nice uh, stone black backsplash. And this here is a pull out cutting board, also extends the countertop somewhat. A uh, double sink with uh, some storage underneath the sink and uh, the stove oven combination with some additional storage. This is coming in pretty handy. And then uh, all the uh, storage here. A Whirlpool. Uh, residential style refrigerator. It does run off of the inverter 
and uh, battery power, not propane. Here's the pantry with the uh, two slide out doors at the bottom. Freezer. There is an ice maker. And then here we have a uh, air closet that is set up for uh, stackable washer and dryer. And another uh, nice feature is this uh, fold up piece off the sink that gives you even uh, more countertop and then we've got additional overhead storage uh, above the sink. Now moving on through the uh, bathroom, these uh, do have uh, privacy doors. There's a privacy door on both sides of the bath. Uh, one leading into the bath and then one leading into the master. Uh, it's got a double sink. Uh, I replaced the, the faucets there to give them a little bit more height. And there is a ton of cabinet space. As well as some um, uh, storage under the sink on both sides. And then the, the three drawers. And then moving into the bathroom, it does have its own uh, door here. Here's the uh, shower. It's got a uh, towel rack built in on the door. Shower, some overhead storage above the uh, toilet, as well as a, a skylight. All right, and then moving into the master again, here's a uh, additional privacy door and this has a king with and that's a mattress topper kind of folded up over there and three overhead storage bins and in here you have uh, a radio that that can be linked to the uh, outside speakers as well so as far as storage in the bedroom got a nice size uh, closet area and there's actually uh, there's a 32 inch TV in here with storage behind the TV it pops up and then there's another uh, storage compartment behind there it's a drawer um, underneath the little countertop and it does have uh, a second air conditioner back here as well as a USB uh, charging station. And here is the um, the other TV for outside is located inside here, as well as a table that goes in between the captain and co-captain chairs. So quite a bit of storage back here. Uh, it's got a, a clothes rack that, or bar rather, that goes all the way across. And then uh, two drawers underneath. I also um, I added this access door so that you can get to the water pump and uh, the valves to drain the fresh water tank, which sits right here, uh, 50 gallon fresh water tank below this countertop. So that is the coach. If you would like additional photos or another video, send me an email and I will get back to you.